So, uh, my name is Brian Tyson, and I am an eighth grade science teacher here at Colbert, and I will be the first one to admit I was a big skeptic about using this device in my classroom. Uh, about a year and a half ago, we had a meeting during the summer where our principal, Susan Wells, passed out a group of iPod touches and said, okay, uh, take these home and play with them. Um, figure out how to use them. Um, we need to start using these in our classroom. This is going to be the future. And I did not believe her. Uh, I went home. Sorry, Susan. Uh, just to be honest. Uh, so I went home and I played with it, and I thought it was one of the coolest things I'd ever seen. It had email, it had calendars, it had internet access. I wanted one. Bad. But how was I going to use it in my room? I had no idea. So I found a group of students that I really liked and gave it to them, and we played with it together. And I'm really glad that I did, because they knew how to use it ten times better than I did. Um, together we found out some really, really cool stuff to do with it. And uh, over the past year, we've been uh, using YouTube and the internet resources to check out science experiments that we do in class before we actually do them so the kids can have a good expectation of what's going to happen and what not to do. Uh, kids are always you know, trying to do crazy stuff when we get in experiments and it says, okay, this is going to explode if you mix this with this, um, which is very, very important. Um, believe me, it's saved a lot, a lot of accidents. <laughs> a lot of accidents. Um, some of our Facebook companies are starting to send us free sample applications that we can use in our classrooms um, to kind of replace, you know, looking at the textbooks, which is very, very cool. And uh, to be honest with you, this little device here has become the ultimate research tool in science because every single time we do projects, this little device comes out. And the kids, they do their vast majority of research on their science uh, iPod touches. And it's so much more convenient to pull out a set of these into a reserve a library or a computer lab. So, exactly, I mean, you got one library, you have, what, two, three, four computer labs now. So much easier just to pull out a set of these things. And uh, if we do have a library, we'll bring it to the library with us. But what the kids do is they'll research on this thing and they can snapshot articles freeze frame pictures, email them to themselves simultaneously, and then they'll go home and they'll put together their PowerPoints on their PC or their laptop. Or they can use a PC or laptop here, but instead of using the PC or laptop the entire time, it cuts down a tremendous amount of time just to use this device. And that's what they enjoy. Instead of spending an entire week researching, you're spending two or three days researching, or sometimes even a day researching with your iPod Touch. But the coolest thing that we have done with this little device is when we grow bacteria in class. Every single year, I do a bacteria lab where we take samples from different spots all over the school and we grow our own bacteria. And we used these things last year. <clears throat> Excuse me. We used the iPod Touches last year to help identify our bacteria. And let me show you why these things are so cool. We have uh, bookmark internet resources on our iPod Touches that have pictures of different bacteria. So you have pictures of different bacteria. Then you can take a petri dish of some potentially dangerous bacteria. <laughs> and you can put them side by side to compare them. Having a petri dish in one hand, having an iPod Touch in the other hand, put them side by side is a lot more convenient for a kid than using a big bulky PC or using a laptop. And they just enjoy having the iPod Touches and they're amazed more, even more than us that they can use them for so many educational reasons. And uh, we're just really, really excited about what the future holds and we're hoping to get more science apps so, excuse me, I'm having my voice. So we can eventually get rid of the textbooks and we can you know, just use the uh, iPod Touches for what we need to in science for the research and for the supplemental resources. So we are very, very excited.